1985, 86, uh, I started Global Sports Communication because there was a big demand from athletes uh, for help uh, with competitions, with training, uh, with injuries, where do we go if we are injured, about the sponsorship and there was nobody that was really helping the athletes and that's how everything started and then my hobby became my profession and it went totally out of hand but it was a, a fantastic period to, to start and to continue now for 30 years. Uh, at the GSC 30 Symposium, it was uh, an incredible, beautiful day. Uh, so many people uh, from uh, track and field and athletics came to Papendal to celebrate and it was so wonderful. The energy was amazing and to see all, uh, all the people, old friends, new friends uh, at Papendal was uh, one of the best days of my life. Global means for me, it's many, many, many things. You can't say it's just simply, it's just my life. Global is my life. And because the sport is my life, and I'm in Global, and Global is my life also. There were so many highlights, but of course it was fantastic to have uh, the speakers there. Uh, they, they, all of them were, were phenomenally good, and they did great speeches. Uh, of course, after later in the evening we had the dinner and see all the old friends and acquaintances. It was uh, another highlight for me. Local heroes support the local heroes to show people how they should live, to combine school and athletics, to combine healthcare and athletics, to combine a sports pitch and athletics. I'm a professor of sport and exercise at the University of Brighton, and I really mean this. I owe a lot of that to yours. And not only yours, but also the people around him, the global family, his athletes, and his teams out in the field. You need to trust yourself and keep your winner mindset. If you have it and you never let it go, you can be whatever you want. And I'm very grateful for the many personal messages that I've had from many of my friends uh, in this room and also the commitment from the federations to change because this is now a fantastic opportunity for us. We, an opportunity we must not eschew uh, of course, we all look to the future now and to new things, the new elements we can bring into global sports communication, not only in management of athletes, not only advising competitions, but also in the new, new parts of, of our business in athletics, but maybe even also in other sports. So it's very exciting time at the moment uh, that we all have to make changes and we want to make changes and to implement uh, new things. I never see him as a manager of... Uh Athletes. Especially for me, here they know my father, my brother, my advisor, my best friend, and uh, he's everything for me. Things which I learned in my athletics career, you know, like um, persistence, dedication, setting goals, focusing, um, be tough on yourself, these things I can still use every day in my daily job as event manager. It's, it's a wonderful event. Uh, it's something that uh, was well thought out because uh, bring together people to say uh, we, we thank uh, the journey that we've taken over the 30 years that uh, we've been in the business is, is a wonderful idea. I would like to thank everybody who was present at the Global Sports Communication Symposium. I was flabbergasted with all the attention that I got that day and all the interaction between the people. Thank you so much for everything.